Vote.je are probably doing the best they can to try to engage with people. I believe every postal address has had probably one, if not more, uh, you know, circulars encouraging people to register. And the way that we usually, uh, well, other places will usually get people to turn out and vote it all must would be a, a major proposition like putting up tax, for example. If these people are genuinely angry, the question I would have to them is why haven't they looked at their mail and bothered to register to vote? Or <coughs> similarly, why have they not contacted their politicians that represented them at, in St Helier number two with their with their with their issues? But I don't know what others think, but vote.je do seem to be doing what they can. But we do have an issue in Jersey with voter apathy, is it? I don't, I don't know. Is, is it Technically it's called voter abstention. Voter abstention. Some people would argue that in some places there's people who are relatively content and they don't bother to vote because they're just happy with what they've got. Your story would indicate otherwise, but I would be interested to know why those people haven't engaged with Vote.je and got themselves on the register to go out and express their opinion, because they hopefully will have more option this year than they've had before. They've given up on... Just go back to the voting thing. Just, just two points. The Australia model, where they have compulsory voting. Now, people don't have to vote if they don't want to. They can go and tear up their papers. They're not forced to vote. But they have to go through the process. They have to participate in the society, which wants democracy. The other thing is, in Jersey, there used to be, as far as I know, there was an obligation to register. It was by law. And they did try to prosecute people who didn't register. And the onus, as far as I know, we are next constable here, it was on the constable to initiate, to, uh, to implement that. And it was down to the constable. For some reason, that's been abandoned. Couldn't that be reintroduced? You've got two options, compulsory voting, or really compulsory registration and enforceable. I mean, the problem was that they couldn't, in Jersey, they couldn't prove that people had not sent their papers in or they hadn't, they had. That was the stuff, but it was a very small technical issue. If they wanted people to register, they don't have to vote, but they, you get them, you can make people register. Um, I, I've got to personally say, I, I'm, I'm not uh, a great fan of forcing people to do anything. And uh, I, I wouldn't be supportive of bringing in compulsory, uh, compulsory voting. Um, my daughter is funny enough, and she's been giving, battering my ear for the last two weeks around compulsory voting. But uh, from my own point of view, I think generally in the UK um, and around the country, uh, and in the past, we've always encouraged people to do things. It's always been carrot, not stick. I'm very much supportive of that, um, that way forward. Um, compulsory registration is, is irrelevant if people aren't going to vote anyhow. Um, so I, I think we've got to change. Uh, we've got to change the way we engage with the public, um, rather than try to change the system or change the way that we ask people to register. We've got to get people to want to vote, to want to be engaged. And at the moment, you're right. They don't. They don't want to be engaged. They feel let down. They don't feel that their that their their choices are making a difference. We, I can go back to referendums we've had over the last ten years, every one of which we've ignored. And you wonder why the public don't uh, d d just don't engage. Um, if we are gonna, if we're going to hold referendums, at least have the guts and the honesty and the integrity to follow them through. And we haven't done that. And you, we wonder why people don't vote. 